far out. Oh, it's week three, you're trying to get this damn battery relocation done and it's not done yet, but it's gonna be done today, I swear to God. I haven't driven this thing in three weeks, but given petrol is like two and a half dollars a litre, kind of not super mad about it. I don't want to pay that much for the 98, that's crazy. This is where we're up to. I mean, you guys have been watching the video, so you probably know where we're up to, but. This needs to get mounted to that. That needs to get mounted to the car. And then that's kind of it, really. So, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm hoping I have all the hardware I need here to do that. I really don't want to make a trip um, into any of the shops since that's now like a 20 minute drive instead of the five minute drive that it used to be. So hopefully we can get it all done. Let's get it. Need to work out where to drill the holes for these two. That and that. So I'm gonna work out how to do that. Probably get a little sharpie and stick it up through there. And probably do the same for that because I don't know if you can see through that hole, but you can actually see the ground. Alright, we ended up getting under there with a pencil. I'm probably gonna run I'm gonna run it tucked in there like that. And then what I'll probably do, once I mount that to this and I can see exactly where it's going to sit, I'll trim it down so this edge sits flush up against each other, if it fits. Where's my damn pencil marks? I didn't see them. I didn't see either of them. What the? That one there? What's that? A pencil mark? That one. Can you see that? That is definitely the mark. So let's draw that one out, then we can bolt that in, and then we can um, work out. What the hell this one is? This is for now. Semi lock. Why not with that hole? Well, it's definitely gonna line up because it's gonna go one in. That is definitely the mark. Right there. So let's go stamp it and drill a hole there. I don't have a center punch though, so I'm using a screwdriver, but this stuff's pretty soft, so it um, stamps pretty easy. Case and point. That looks pretty bloody good to me, so let's now drill out that hole a bit bigger, and then we can put our mad bolts in. Except we won't, because we'll be mounting the box to this first before we bolt that in. Alright, that bolt is in, we now have the hole drilled. What we're actually going to do as well is we have that hole there, yeah, and then that's actually going to double up to hold the battery box in. So that'll go in the corner, plenty of room for the battery to sit in here. So what I need to do now is put another three bolts through here, one, two, three, but they won't be going through the car, they'll just go through the box and the tray. So I have some really short little ones that I'm going to put through there. To make sure that's going to fit where I want to sit it with the um, trim piece in. It's all taped up because it's pretty much destroyed thanks to that previous owner. So let's put the trim in here and make sure it all sits without any problems. That is beautiful. Not the trim piece because it's RS, but where the box is going to sit. I knew it was going to work because we mocked it up with this in with that hole earlier. So. Quite a shallow bolt to sit between this and the car. Um, it has these raised uh, ridges, so it's going to sit up a little bit. So I need a tiny little bolt to sit in between the proper floor and the bottom of the tray. So I have these tiny little screw things with quite a nice uh, white head on them, and I have these tiny little nuts. So I think this is going to work really well. So these little things might just be the tiniest bit too short. Um, it is like, I got that one on, but as you can see, not a lot of thread is in there. And uh, these ones, I can push out and kind of screw them on, but I might see if I can find something just a tiny little bit longer. Um, even if I find some longer ones, I can cut them down. Might be a better option because I'm kind of concerned that's not going to hold. It found, so I found these slightly longer ones. Uh, it does have a flathead top, which I'm not a super fan of because they can get destroyed really easy. But they fit this same tiny little knot, so that's probably going to work best. I've got these two already on. Obviously, they're far too long. The best way to do that is to basically put them on and then we're going to cut it off. 
that way we can undo the screw and hopefully it won't ruin the thread by cutting it. Definitely always cut these with the nut on. So one of these I took off and I couldn't get the nut back on the threads a little bit. Hey gone, it's always a risky take. Uh, if you double nut the bolt, the nut shouldn't move when you cut it, so it should be a clean and cut. So let's do that. The all in, I'm thinking that one's definitely going to be too long down there. But let's um, let's put it in the car and see what this thing freaking looks like. Actually, it doesn't look too bad to be honest. Let's stick that bolt in, stick that bolt in, mount it up all properly, and then see how we go. Then we'll have to cut. Um, the plate down along this edge, so the cover for the spare wheel, which you can't see. The cover for the spare wheel, see it flush up against that edge. And that's my new cut line. Let's get the grind off and then um, trim that part off. trimmed up and that's pretty much how it's going to sit that's not too shabby that will that will definitely do so let's get the box screw back on let's bolt this thing down and then that's that I was thinking about painting it but honestly I can't be that I just want to get this thing together this thing is going to be mounted solid as hell but the thing is when we take the battery and put it in there it's quite a lot for the so I would really like to strap it down properly I would really like to strap down properly, but yeah, it's too much work. So we just cut some timber, put that wedge down in there. These three are wedged in nice and tight, and I'll be happy with that. We need to run this up properly where it's going to go, um, which means finishing all of this, running that properly under the carpet. So let's do that right now, run under the carpet. Then what we can do is cable tie it up around the top somewhere where it's not going to rub on anything. Um, I'm probably going to move that earth, so I'm going to do that as well. And then we can put it in. We're getting close. So all the places where I think this cable might potentially rub, uh, like potentially up in here against that metal, I'm going to put this, this stuff around it and um, cable tie it up nice and tight so there should be no movement. Alright, that's the new earth that we're running up there. I think that will be fine. I mean, we'll be able to tell pretty quickly if it's not good enough. Um, it's all ground down around there, so it should be good. Power's good to go. Let's mount the box, stick the box in there, bolt that down. Actually, first let's put the trim piece in and then we'll do that. We are under the car. Uh, we have to pull that, that little shield off the fuel filler. I think that's what that is. So, anyway, there's the fucking bolt. Now I can get my hand up in here because I didn't get my hand before, so I'm gonna adjust, put a little ring spanner on the top of it and I'm going to tighten it up and that's going to be that. Can you hold that bolt still in, in the battery box? Which one? Can you just put the ring spanner over it? Over what? Like that? Alright, this battery box is now secure as a... Well, I, I, don't, I don't know what, but it's, it's in there pretty good. It's not freaking going absolutely anywhere. There's not a single millimetre of movement in that. That's awesome. Now, let's stick the battery in there. So I do see quite a few people talking about uh, running an inline fuse on this battery cable. I'm obviously not doing that. This car has been running pretty much the exact same setup ever since I got it. And I know it had that battery set up a long time before I got the car, like possibly a couple years. So essentially it's the exact same setup. It's just the cable is a little bit longer to the back of the car now, instead of in the engine bay. That cable was never fused, never had a problem. So I'm not gonna fuse it. Don't feel like there's any reason to. And that's how I'm gonna run it for now. I might do it one day, but the chances are probably not. So let's now connect the, the batteries. Battery, let's connect the battery and see what happens. Hopefully, nothing happens. But I did get that out. Just in case. All right, the batteries are all hooked up. That's how we're going to run it. Um, I haven't yet put that in. All we need to do is screw that into there, and then the car will be active. That's nice and tight. That should sneak out a little battery. Uh, this little 
this little thingy there, and then this one can hopefully sneak out uh, that one. I haven't actually worked out a way to secure that down, the lid down. I'm not sure if we're going to need it. Kind of, it's really tight up against this bit of trims. I think that's going to keep it down, to be honest. Um, I could potentially mount these little loops to the box and then run the strap over it to keep it down, but I'm not sure where I'm going to bother as of yet. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens when we put it all together. Battery is now connected. That's looking mint in my opinion. Um, that doesn't lock, so the battery is working. Nothing funny happening up here. Everything is as it seems, which it should be, because it's exactly the same as it was before. But, that's the battery done. I need to finish tidying all it up, put the strap brace back on, get rid of all the hardware laying around the car. And then we can try and start it. Hopefully we have no problems because we did run that earth in the boot. Should be fine because it's on metal, but we'll test it out and see what happens. We've got our airbox cover back on, we've got the strap brace back in, that cover's on, sits pretty well, just touches on this corner, but I'm not gonna worry about that because that'll sort of keep help keep that down. That should be fine. We really like to do something with this area. Probably gonna be a catch can here in the future. I know Brighton Hooker does one that actually has some of this mounts on the back of it. So we may look into that for the future, but this is how we're going to be running it for the minute. Uh, I'm probably going to have to take that off now. In the back, the battery is all set up. I'm going to leave it like that for a minute with the lid off until I have started the car, make sure it all works good. So now there's nothing left for it but to start the car. Nothing. Man, I haven't run this thing in three weeks. And this thing is, ah, man, the battery has been dead for like months. Months that old battery has been rooted. Oh, this makes me so happy that it's done. And it, like, full size battery now. Not only that, but we can so easily isolate the battery now. So if I know I'm not driving this for a week or two, undo that, done. These are 20 bucks, so super cheap. Go get one if you don't have one. That's awesome full-size battery, the car runs, that is, that's really exciting. Uh, it is absolutely no coincidence that I picked this up at the same time. This is apparently the world's best fire extinguisher bracket for Cap Industries. That's what we like. Oh. Boom. Subaru Evo. I got one for the Evo and I got one for just, just the Forester. There it is, Forester. I don't know, man. We're coming into summer. I feel like fire extinguisher is one of those things that you just can't hurt to have in your car at all times. I've got two of them laying around here. There's one. There's another one up there. That one usually lives in the Evo anyway, but it kind of just gets wedged in the back seat. I already have a fire extinguisher bracket in this car, but I don't like it. It fits like crap. I'm not going to call out who made it because I kind of like their, their other stuff. But fire extinguisher bracket is not great. But let's fit up the Cap Industries fire extinguisher bracket and get one of these things in the Evo. Hey, that looks pretty neat. That's very cool. Glad that's in there. I've wanted to do that for a long time. I'm sure Jess is going to love that when she's sitting there kicking her feet against it. We may move that onto the other side, but that will do it for now. I like it. I've got a one in there for ages, so I'm very happy about that. I need to work out what I'm going to do with the carpet in here. The sub's got to go back in. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'll work that out. That's how that's sitting. Pretty happy about that. This is how this is all sitting. I do think I need to put some in here. Maybe just another bit of metal like that to cover all that. I don't know. 
this is how it's going to sit for now. I will get around to doing something in there to make it look a bit better. But for now, that's that's what we're running. If you have any suggestions on things I should do differently or better to improve it, let me know. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Goodbye.